In line at Duncan, we need energy because we're going somewhere today. I love that bird! So today we're going to the zoo and I have a love-hate relationship with the zoo. I know a lot of people are against the zoo and think it's terrible for the animals. A lot of people love the zoo because you get to see the animals and appreciate them. I kind of fall in the middle. There's something to say about the feeling you get whenever you see a wild animal like that. I mean, obviously, in person. It's, yeah, in person. But like, I know it's like in captivity, which is um, not good. Not good in its own right. We're not here to be like go to your local zoo, but we're here to go to the zoo ourselves and broadcast it to you. You can watch this video and get some insight. So we don't all have to go to the zoo because we don't want to really support the zoos but we're gonna go to just get some insight and some perspective and appreciate the animals they do have dip and dots at the zoo they do have dip and dots. so that is a reason i am excited to go why we're, going. we're excited to see giraffes we both like giraffes love giraffes giraffes are just really interesting they give me like dinosaur vibes like long neck bronchiosaurus All right, so we made it to the zoo. We have some friends here with us. Can you say your name? Tegan. Tegan and? Rowan. And? Kyle. Kyle, Kyle's live streaming. Say yeah. saw chat. So majestical. So beautiful. It looks fake. It doesn't, yeah, that's a thing. Tigers make me think of Jasmine and Aladdin, how she had Raja the tiger. I feel like if sea lions liked a pizza, they'd like anchovy pizza. <laughs> oh wow! It looks like she has a pokeball in her hand. Yeah. I want to touch him. <laughs> oh, oh, see ya. Oh. And over here is the Coca-Cola sponsor. They'll eat like anything. Really? Yeah. Will they eat a person? Yeah. I'm really excited about the baboons because they like figured out the whole butt thing. They figured out the butt thing. <laughs> goats, there's approximately 200 different breeds of domestic goats. <laughs> I want to touch you. Look at that default pick. You probably got a lot of likes on that. Yeah, that's a good default. They're just sleeping. They eat gazelle, and then the gazelle turn into the grass, and that's the circle of life. When we die, our bodies become the grass, and the antelope eat the grass. And so, we are all connected in the great circle of life. There he is. He's like, Simba, why would you disobey me? <laughs> Look how muscular. <laughs> this is really making me want to play Zoo Tycoon. I've never been so close to a lion in my life. Look at this. Oh my gosh, he's just chilling out over here. Look at him, he's so beautiful. I've never seen it so close. Wow. I like this. Once upon a time, people went on safari to hunt animals. Today, people go on safari to look, listen, appreciate animals. They take photos, but they leave the animals unharmed. I'll take you on a safari. No, I like this. Do you read this? What is it? It's talking about how we used to hunt animals on safaris, but now we appreciate the animals on safaris. Very beautiful. I love that. I hate people who like hunt for like these beautiful animals and like put them as trophies in their car. Yeah, yeah. I don't, it makes me sad. Like, a, the, like, like a lion, you know what I mean? to hunt for like a, you know, like a deer, like an elk and like actually eat the food, mm -hmm. eat the meat. But, but like not an endangered, like no. not a lion. No, it's very sad. Like leave the lions be. That's why they're endangered. And that's why zoos can help because they can keep them alive. Yes. Hi. I want to hug him. Whenever they're together, they're called troops. There's one dominant male and female in the troop. Yep. You can learn a lot from nature. Male and female are supposed to be balanced. You know, yeah. just like oh, yeah. Yeah. A lot to learn from these baboons. Yeah. I'm trying to see their butts though. Yeah, I want to see. Oh, there's butt. one. Look at his butt. His butt shines in the sun. You can kind of see it. Do you think they get sunburned there? Is that what they're always red? Oh, maybe. Nice. Doesn't that burn? <laughs> Up next. The elephant. Elefante. El elefante es grande. That's what we've all been waiting for. Actually, that's the giraffe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're trying to see the giraffes. Look at this! It's a giraffe! <laughs> we secured the dip and Dots, my favorite thing in the entire world. It's literally like little ice cream balls. I really stand by this. This product, not sponsored. I'm just obsessed. Dippin' Dots, can you sponsor me? Can you? Can you sponsor us? Slide into my DMs, Dippin' Dots. I'd love to work with you. <laughs> 
Oh, they're vulnerable. <gasps> oh no! But they're not endangered. Zebras, black and white or white and black. I like how zebras and giraffes look together, that's nice. They look like they vibe. They do. They're, they're about like, it. like opposite tones. Yeah. Really cool. Oh, the spots versus stripes? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They look like they get along really well. Zebras are really cool too. Zebras are so cool, but like, what do they do? Let's find out. Each zebra has a unique stripe pattern, helping them identify each other. Wow. Oh, so they look that way so they can see each other better. Yes. Their stripes add to the confusion by creating optical illusions. Oh, so they're trippy animals. They really are. I didn't think of it like that. I don't know, but it makes sense. Hmm. Do you think they're happy? I feel like if they were in the wild, they'd be more happy. They look sad in here. They do look a little sad. Look at sad. this one, looks like very, like, what am I doing with my life? Yeah. Well, he's not doing anything he wants to. That makes me very sad. Yeah. He's just an example for all zebras, I think. Yeah. That was his life's, like, purpose. Yeah. To be the zebra who shows the humans about other zebras. Zebras are beautiful. They are very beautiful. Underrated. Very underrated. You wouldn't know about any of these. You wouldn't be thinking about giraffes or zebras today if you didn't watch this video. Yeah. Unless you're already involved. Yeah, we're here to shed some light. We don't support the zoos, but we support the animals and learning about them. It's the idea them. of learning about them. Yeah. And seeing them up close is definitely a treat. Mm -hmm. It's a very cool experience. Mm -hmm. I wish it didn't have to be this way for people to, you know, think about the endangered animals or the unique animals to our planet, but. I agree. They well. set an example. <laughs> We just went to the gift shop and me and Mike have matching giraffes. <laughs> Such a zoo aesthetic. I love this pink giraffe. This you like the pink giraffe? Yeah. This makes me so happy. Yeah. I really I, love I, it. I, I love you like yours? I love mine. They're matching. <laughs> I feel like a true zoomer. What's your favorite part about the zoo so far? Um, it makes me want to go to like Africa and like on a safari. Oh, I would love that. And I want to see all the different animals, like in their natural, natural habitat. You know? What about you? What's your favorite part so far? I like reading all the little uh, things about the uh, the different animals. Yeah, he's our tour guide. I am the safari master. I just think it's cool. It gives you time to just appreciate things that you normally wouldn't think about. Mm -hmm. I like, oh wait, you know what my favorite part is? I really love how the exhibits explain like, oh, the male and female are balanced. Like this is how yes. their habitat is. Yeah. Like, you learn about like feminine and masculine energies through the animals. And it's really interesting because I believe in that in humans. And it makes sense because animals are purely naked. And they, and they do it can, as well. yeah, yeah. That's my favorite part so far. And a cool thing about animals is they only live in the now. Oh yeah, animals only care about now. They don't they think about, about the past, they don't think about the future. Nope. The only thing they think about in the future is like, what are we gonna eat for dinner, you yeah, know? Yeah. But like, that's natural. But I really love that they live in the now. Yeah. Yeah. So there was this mollusk, and usually in a joke, everybody talks. And he walks up to a seat. Well, he doesn't walk up, he swims up. Well, actually, the mollusk isn't moving. I don't know, my axe was here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was pretty much our trip to the zoo. We saw a lot of animals. We learned about a lot of stuff. We learned about a lot of animals. We got giraffes. There were no dinosaurs. Why? Yeah, no dinosaurs here. Why didn't they have didn't them? Didn't see a single one. I hope you guys got some new insight or just like perspective on animals and. It was fun. It was interesting. I haven't been to the zoo in a while, and I probably won't come back for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll go on an actual safari where like the animals are where they're supposed to be. I had fun. We walked around a lot. Got some exercise. Yeah. Yeah. So, got some different good. dads, a lot of crying kids. A lot of crying kids. Yeah. Parents don't know how to control their kids. Yeah. I would have got killed if I screamed and cried like these kids do. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's a, a zoo out there. Yeah, it is a zoo. Now, the real question is are the people watching the animals or are the animals watching the people? That's the tea. Who's here to see who? Who are the real wild animals? The last exhibit. <laughs> Bunch of humans. These are the most deadly animals. Yep. All right, quite a successful day at the zoo. Can you guys say bye? Bye. 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 <laughs>